Here we are picking saltbush, Australian saltbush berries. I can't watch the camera and pick berries at the same time. I can't, can I? I'm going to plant all these, but I should make a cordial or a jam or something out of them, really. I'm saving them for seeds, really. So many on one little bush. Salt bush, ruby salt bush. I could let them become more rubyish, but do I want the birds to take them all so I can't plant more for the birds? Ruby salt bush. Much, what's the Latin? I haven't learnt the Latin. Is it in? Well, I can't think of it at the moment. It begins with E. And it's got a CH pronounced as a K, like some Latin words or Greek, uh, Greek Latin, botanical Latin, with uh, Greek mixed with Latin. So many berries on one little bush. And remember the leaves are edible as well. Yummy, I really enjoyed the leaves. Next time I pick the leaves, I'm going to pick them like this, like little bunches of broccoli, because they're very nice like that. But I'm here for the berries today. I could make saltbush berry wine, couldn't I, very easily. I could. If I leave all these, the birds might take them, and I want them to grow everywhere. Well, beautiful berries. Lovely. Can we see that? Probably not, knowing my camera skills. Have I got most of them? Oh look, there's, I want to get all the red ones. I'll come back tomorrow for some more. Yes, as far as I'm concerned, I can have acres of this stuff. There's a lot of wind today, isn't there? I should put fluff over my ca uh, uh, microphone, shouldn't I? To stop the noise coming through. I can't wait to have hundreds and hundreds of these growing everywhere. I think they're the most wonderful, best kept secret ever in Bush Tucker because, well, I mean, they're a vegetable and a fruit, aren't they? You can eat the leaves and you can eat the fruit as well. If you dry out the fruit, you can, you can soak them in water to make them come back to normal again, just like a dried apricot. A lot. Look at those lovely succulent leaves as well. Wonderful. There's a nice fat juicy leaf. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. It tastes like salt. One thing about cooking salt bush as a vegetable too, you don't have to um, you don't have to add salt to the cooking water, do you? You don't. If you mix it in with your pasta or noodles, you don't have to add anything. I could make wine out of that, or syrup, cordial. What's about that? Yes, next time I pick broccoli, it will be like that. Well, as a broccoli, I mean. Look at those delicious leaves. Wonderful. Well, these leaves are beautiful as a green vegetable. There are big tender ones, if you look carefully. Mmm, they're all tender. They're tender and they make a nice uh, salad vegetable or boiled vegetable. I have tried them and I'll be doing it again because they're so delicious. It takes a bit of time to pick them, but... And as for the berries, they're wonderful, aren't they? And one must remember that all of this belonged to Australia's first people before it was all taken away from them. So, it's something worth keeping in mind when you eat bush tucker. It was taken away. This was once, well, I mean it was food, wasn't it? For mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, cousins, daughters, grandfathers, grandmothers. It was their food. It is their food still. And 
It's not right to take away food out of people's mouths. See ya. It's just something worth remembering when we're uh, collecting bush tucker. Australia's first people, this was their first, this was their tucker. See ya.